Yo, it's your boy Orb Smoke, and it you are looking for a good alternative to GTA 5 online, you clicked on the right video. And you're probably asking yourself, man, I'm really tired of spending hours on cargo just to get griefed by some Mark II. Bring your wagon all down to Red Dead because there ain't no Ghost Store, ain't no Mark II, just pure Wild West action. And we're starting off with that with the Naturalist role. It's the newest DLC slash role they added to the game. And it's also kind of breaking the game because recently we have been having, everyone has been having struggle getting into a lobby or even staying into a lobby for more than 10 minutes. It's even affecting the daily challenges slash objectives that you can do every day for gold. And we know it was on Game Pass recently. So if uh, you know a buddy who got on Game Pass or you got on Game Pass, look out for our further vids also we are fairly new so um, we will have beginner type content not all of it but most of it around there at the beginning because we have been playing a little under two months I would say around there oh Ovi has played a lot more than me like he's been grinding but yeah both two minutes I mean two months into the game and now I'll give it up to straight boss OV. Yo, or should I say howdy? I reckon you better play Red Dead. No, no. But uh, on a serious note, um, what Orb Smoke was touching on, and I, we would be fools if we did not mention this in this video. But I cannot help but express how the online right now is really 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 bad disconnections galore there's a couple of tips you could get from other youtubers on how to actually none of those tips are surefire ways some of them work then the next day they don't work anymore so but yeah just give it time give it time rockstar will get their head out of their ass red dead is a really good game it can be lots of fun unfortunately the dlc is kind of broke the online play right now but it will get better you know they rockstar's big corporation with a lot of money they're gonna get a fix and when they do get a fix it's gonna be a great game again so yes this definitely is a good alternative there's a lot of different things you can do here you see i'm fishing i caught a big boy there i blew up and threw some dynamite in the water caught another big boy uh, there's a lot of hunting in uh, Red Dead um, so much different than you can see I'm getting chased by a buck the son of a bitch was pissed off I was trying to put an arrow through its uh, little girlfriend's head and he's coming to get me <laughs> but uh, uh, this won't happen if you hunt from your horse obviously but I like to hunt on foot with an arrow so but anyway uh, there's hunting there's different roles you know the new DLC offers a role Called the naturalist and i haven't ranked up too far in it yet but it seems like a very solo friendly role uh the other roles are moonshiner moonshiner is very solo friendly um there's collector that is really solo that is four solo players just like the naturalist the new role moonshiner can be done with other people and for fun and uh, the trader role can be done with other people and solo as well but the two out of the four roles are really for solo players so it's okay if you're the only person that's playing it uh you don't have many friends to play it that's fine you can still find lots of fun things to do on this game and um, now being said granted you're not going to get griefed by mark ii chodes but there are some uh sweats and cheaters just like there is in any game i mean you will get you will get trounced on by people that think they're playing fucking Call of Duty instead of Red Dead, but um, you're going to get that in any game, like I said. But for the most part, this game is really, really chill. You really don't get messed with. Uh, there's so many different things you can do. Here, you go to the butcher, sell meat, get money. Um, horses are like cars from GTA. You have like a stable, aka a garage. Your horses are the cars. So there's so many different horses, so many different colors. 
the stats of horses, all that stuff is, um, you know, really important for the type of horse you're wanting, just like cars on GTA. What kind of car are you looking for? Uh, so, yeah, and also there's jobs, you know, there's races, there's horse races, there's different jobs to do, you know, uh, takeover series, uh, you know, elimination series, stuff like that. And there's free roam uh, challenges to do here, so here's a free roam event, Master Archer, you go around with your bow, just hitting the bullseyes, competing against other people that join the event, and you compete for money and gold. Um, some of the events you can't get killed during, some of the events you can't, there's fishing challenges, who, who catches the most weighted fish. Um, there's trade route, That there's uh, free, ro free roam events that are specifically designated for uh, the role that you're in that'll help you with your role and help with XP and help with money. Uh, one thing I do like about this game over GTA is the currency is divided. There's gold. You use some gold for things and you use money, you use cash for other things. I think that's a nice thing compared to GTA where it's strictly money based. But yeah, no, this game is a lot of fun and we're going to learn it with you guys. We're going to like I said, we'll be doing it. We're, we are still mainly a GTA channel. But, uh, yeah, we're going to mix in some Red Dead in here for some fun. This game's so good, it's going to slap your kids. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go on that note, but look for our next Red Dead video on the best beginning horse. All right, see you guys later.